What's going on? Back plugged in the game. What's your boy the profit? Hey yo. So today, man, bro, it's right here. It's right here, bro. This is this is what I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay. This invading army pack. This is this is this is the main reason I went to this video, as you guys can see from the title, but. We have to literally talk about this. We have to talk about this, okay? So, invading army pack, all right? Now, this banner just dropped a little less than 12 hours ago, about 12 hours ago as this video is being uploaded. So, this is pretty fresh stuff. Obviously, we got the news a couple nights ago. But it says, this pack contains one five-star summon ticket, the invading army, spear orbs, rainbow link side potions, one Hogyaku's will, Hogyaku's, and droplets, all right? A five-star summon ticket allows you to summon one of a special selection of five-star characters. And so this pack is 242 orbs, which as soon as I saw the price, I was like, hold on. Because K-Lab doesn't do like just straight up discounts, right? Like they'll, they'll just do like all the packs will be priced the same, but just different tickets, different characters in the selection. So this is $40 USD. I believe it's $39.95. I'm, I'm going to check to see where it showed the price. I think it only showed the price um, if you go if you go to the ticket. But guys, you, you have to realize, okay? And now this is the thing. People are like, yeah, but you get a 100% chance to get one of the new characters. A one of three chance. And basically what this does is this says, so for $39.99 USD, and obviously a lot of you guys know that the transfer rates are much worse, you know what I'm saying, in, in a lot of other places. Uh, US isn't the, the best, but, you know, it's one of the more standardized ones. But, um, yeah, like, so this is, 30, this is $40 for me. So for people in Canada, it's like $55 or so. And for people in other countries, it's just not even, a, it's just an afterthought. So this is actually pretty crazy. And it's like, yeah, it's like you get 43 spirit orbs. So this is basically 285 spirit orbs. And then you're going to get 125 for leveling up the character. So that's roughly 600 orbs. Um... Just under 600 orbs, and once you max out the characters, and that's for forty dollars. Like you can legit buy a AAA title, some games, an older game, a discounted game, downloadable content like expansion pass. Like you, you can get all that for thirty nine ninety five. You know what I'm saying? And these are premium characters. You can literally get these characters from tickets, right? You can get them from tickets and there's one red one green one blue so you know they have all the the standard attributes covered right so you have oiko he's a captain killer this is the pvp character and it's weird because he's technique but he's supposed to be the koryashiki killer um because koryashiki is a captain so dr he can be weakened captain dodge 50 percent yep yep koryashiki killer Brave Battle Counter, half stamina only increased normal attack damage, counter attack, poise, flurry, long reach, bruise, 50 bruiser. So this is gonna be basically one of the best PvP characters in the game. If not the best. Like, you know, he's he's basically meant to counter Koryashiki. It would have been better if he was a power attribute, so he can balance out the meta a little bit. So then my Sukishima can clap cheeks again. But um Yeah, like this is a PvP character. You have Nozomi who's a no affiliation killer, strong tag recharge, read no affiliation dodges, team party stamina recovery 20%. She can be frozen, uh, 40 bruiser, 60 berserker, guard break, technique link slot potion, and 50% killer multiplier and guild quest with technique droplet character as well. So she does have a lot of bells and whistles, but guys, girls, she doesn't have havoc, right? Like she doesn't have havoc. So you're literally spending $40 on a chance to get characters 
that are pretty much already not the best at what they do. And that's just not, that's just kind of crazy. Um, the, the main reason why I have an issue, why I have an issue with this is because this is more money than the seasonal tickets, right? So if people start buying these tickets, even though they guarantee, and maybe, maybe $40 for a guaranteed, like new seasonal, like maybe I feel a little bit different about that, but it's still $40, okay? Versus paying, you know, $22 and then uh, having a selection of characters rather than getting the new character guaranteed. So I do admit having a one of three chance is better, but is this what Caleb is going to start pushing on us now? Or is it going to be $40 character packs whenever, you know, we get a new seasonal banner and stuff like that? Because if that's the case, I'm probably not going to be getting them. Like, you know, it's a nice boost of orbs and if the characters are good and if for whatever reason getting the character one of five is, you know, not worth risking orbs, but you think that, I don't know, basically what I'm trying to say is if you don't want to spend orbs for a character, but they come in a ticket and you have the money available, like you have the funds available, you're like, all right, cool, I'm going to just go ahead and buy this ticket. Maybe you, but the thing is, even if you have the funds available, that doesn't mean that you should necessarily buy this ticket. Like, I'm telling you, people are literally doing it for the orbs. Like, they're, they're skipping the banner because they don't care for the characters, but people are doing it for the orbs because it's a premium banner. So, I mean, I, I really just have a problem with this. Kagerosa is a ranged, no affiliation killer. If you have Masaki, which I don't have Masaki, but I can still beat the, the week of Guild Quest, then, you know, you don't really need this character. He is going to be a good character because he does have a guard breaker, if I'm not mistaken, as an innate skill. No. Let me see. Um, I thought he has Flurry. Killer effect in Guild Quest. Okay, so he don't even have guard break. Oh, he does have guard break. My bad. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I looked over his name. Yeah, I, I knew he had guard break. So, yeah, I mean, he's going to be really good in guild quests. But do you need it? Is it worth spending $40 to get one of these characters? Like, I'm telling you. I mean, like, I'm not here to say, you know, don't, sp like, how to spend your money. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. But I'm telling you guys that you need to be careful. Because if you buy, I know a lot of people that bought this ticket, personally. If you buy this ticket, if you pay for this, you're you're giving Kayla the okay to keep monetizing tickets like this. And I would prefer $40, I mean, I would prefer having a one of three chance, but make the ticket 20, make the ticket the $23 ticket, not the $40 ticket. Because that's just crazy. And, um... I don't know, I think Kayla did this because people aren't buying packs as much. So they wanted to go ahead and sweeten up the pot as well as get themselves more money. So make sure you guys weigh in and let me know how you feel about this. If they do seasonal character packs like this with like new characters, would you guys buy them? Of course, they haven't done any Thousand Year Blood War or Can't Fear Your Own World tickets or packs or anything like that. So it would just be premiums or seasonal characters, which you can get them all from tickets. There are tickets that get you seasonal characters as well. So I don't know, man. I really don't like the way this is going, but make sure you guys win. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Next Time Profit Nation. I do love y'all. I'm out.